Good morning. It's 21 June 2022 and uh, getting ready to head out on a hike in the Sierra. Uh, looks like I'm going to try to do Cottonwood Pass, Soldier Lakes, um, up into the Mitre Basin, take a look at those little lakes. Then uh, if the weather's good, I'm going to try to do uh, Mount Langley and then down to the Cottonwood Lakes and back to the car on Friday. Well, let's stop talking and get walking. Bye. Pretty quiet this morning. Well, it would appear that uh, my hike is going to be a short one. Everything worked out. Training, equipment, planning, food, health. But uh, coming up the uh, Cottonwood Pass here, I've run into about 30 PCT hikers and uh, comes to find out the weather is that uh, Wednesday through Friday it's going to be rain and snowstorm thunder action and so they're all coming down to wait it out in Lone Pine. So. <laughs> don't think it'd be a really smart idea for me to be doing Langley or any other high altitude stuff and trying to hero out a snowstorm. I didn't come here for that so since today is supposed to be nice I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, Cottonwood Pass and then go over to Chicken Spring Lake and just take a, a gander. I've never seen it in person. And then uh, walk back down to the car and go home. Because, uh, yeah, weather. Don't want to be an idiot. Okay. Smiley face. Looking back at Horseshoe Meadow, about three quarters of the way up to Cottonwood Pass. Well, this is Chicken Spring Lake in this basin. Some PCT hikers over there watering up. The water level is quite low, it just has a sandy shore. That looks like it's normally not exposed at this time of year anyway.
Well, looking back on Chicken Spring Lake from northbound on the PCT, just before the trail pops up over this little saddle and heads north towards Soldier Lakes area. Now there's the big Whitney Meadow. Well, I'm, I'm actually continuing on. Um, I ran into some more PCT hikers that had a different opinion of the weather. They were saying that even though there is a forecast, some rain and possibly even snow for the Mount Whitney area, it's probably not gonna be anything like a, a toad strangler because um, that's what it does up here in the afternoons. It did freeze last night, so I don't see uh, why it wouldn't snow, but they said, well, maybe half an inch so there's a mixed mixed opinion on weather the only thing i care about is lightning i got a i got waterproof everything's waterproof so i don't care about that but if i get back here and then i can't get to my car because i got to go over a ridge in the storm it would be bad i have plenty of food and water but i don't want to camp out in a tent forever Kevin feverish. Anyway, uh, some of the hikers went back down the hill. A bunch of them are just marching on. Interestingly enough, the ones that were going down the hill were real. Interestingly enough, the ones that were going down the hill were kind of clean and uh, I don't know how to say it. The ones that are continuing on look like pros. I mean, they are. They look like they've been doing this a while. And they were saying, nah, not to worry. Normal stuff. So, the ones that went down the hill, I don't think they wanted to sit in a tent, which could happen. So, anyway, my plan is to go to Soldier Lakes, get a camp spot, there's water there, Get up Wednesday morning and uh, reevaluate. I think the best thing to do would be at that point just to go back over New Army Pass, which is the high point I'd have to cross, and then uh, down to Cottonwood Lakes and then out to my car. That way, we don't have any uh, mishaps. past this little wet spot on your way along the PCT northbound as you uh, leave Chicken Spring and uh, it reminds me of Hidden Lake up in San Jacinto it's got water in the spring but then it dries up it's still wet down there you can tell by the green grass but I'm not sure you could get any water out of it so I just ran into some more PCT hikers. Actually, they ran into me and said, get the hell out of the way, old man.
The trail's a little smaller here, but it's a trail very identifiable. It's marked as the Rock Creek Trail, but not as a Soldier Lakes area. And it veers off from the PCT. So in the morning, we'll be uh, taking this trail. We're on the Rock Creek Siberian Pass trail. It just happens to get itself over to Soldier Lakes. And then uh, this trail right up there leads to uh, New Army Pass. And we'll go over that in the morning, hoping that the weather is clear. Well, we're entering the Soldier Lake Basin and uh, looks like they've got a food storage box up here, so it might be a popular bear area, which is a good thing. Food storage box, that is. But that uh, big rock formation up there, that's the miter. And uh, to get up in that basin, you can kind of just make out a chute over there, kind of angling up to the left, and that'll take you up into the Mitre Basin. All right, let's see, the lake must be around the corner. Well, here's the Lower Soldier Lake. Go have a look. The wind decided to blow a little bit this afternoon, so I've got the tent vestibules pulled down tight on the wind side. It's kind of coming and going, but um, yeah, it really doesn't matter. It's it's staked in and held in with rocks, so it shouldn't go anywhere. Making dinner. Today we started here in Horseshoe Meadow and uh, the parking lot's like right about there and then uh, hiked up here to Cottonwood Pass right there and then went past Chicken Spring Lake and then on down the PCT out in this area and then when we hit this junction here uh, for Siberian Pass then I turned right and I went north toward the Soldier Lake Basin and then when you get here you intersect the trail to New Army Pass so I just kept going to the left 
and uh, it takes you around to Lower Soldier Lake. And so that's where I'm at right now. Well, good morning. It's Wednesday, and uh, yep, it's raining. So I'm kind of stuck in the tent here and uh, trying to decide uh, if I should just go hiking or if I should just hang. It's supposed to just pass this morning. I'm a little disappointed in the Garmin uh, weather report because some of the reports said no rain, some of the reports said rain, and it's all coming from the same electronic device, so I'll have to do a little research on that and find out why that variation exists. Anyway, we're going to just stay hunkered in here and dry and warm and wait and see what the weather does. Might even do a little night hiking. All right. Take care. Well, it stopped raining, and it's probably about seven o'clock, so I'm going to start the process of packing and get walking. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go over New Army or if I'm gonna just go back around the PCT. I think maybe that's a little safer. Anyway, I haven't heard any thunder, but it's early in the day, so we'll see. Out. Where am I? <laughs> well, it's about 10 o'clock Wednesday morning, still in the tent. The rain uh, is turned to frozen rain, so it's not making so much damn noise. And uh, I'm literally sitting in like water. Not me personally, the tent is in water, but it's a bathtub floor, so yeah, we're warm and dry in, in a little boat. <laughs> So anyway, it's supposed to slow down after a while, and uh, I'm just going to hang because there's a window. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to try to get out of here. I don't want to hike in the rain. Ech. All right. Bye. Well, it's about 11, and it's snowing now. So I'll give you a little peep here. Don't know what those funny noises are in the background. I don't think it's lightning. Could be a rock falling or something. Anyway, plenty warm and toasty. Chilling, waiting. We'll see how we do. Worst case scenario, hike cold and wet. At night. <laughs> Later. Got a pretty good snow fringe now to block the wind, although there isn't any wind right now. Not too much out there. Let's see if it's still snowing here. I think it is. Oh, yeah. Yep. Paint stopped. Yeah. 
just have to wait. Well, it's about three o'clock or so, and uh, stopped snowing. It's just lightly raining. Woke up to this. It is absolutely stunning. It's looking up toward the Mitre Basin right there. Managed to knock all the snow off my tent and clear out around it a little bit, but I managed to set up camp right in a an outflow for this little camp spot here. So at least I didn't set up in the upper end. There's a pond there, but uh, I've got <laughs> water running right under my tent and right out the other side. <laughs> It's all good. I got a bathtub floor, and uh, I must have poked a little hole in it because it got a little bit of a leak. So I've been sopping it up with a handkerchief. And this is just an awesome place. Well, the plan is now to, if there's a little break, <clears throat> come tomorrow morning, um, I'm going to try to zip out of here and run up over the New Army Pass, and uh, it should be clear, but if it's not, I'm going anyway. I don't want to be stuck here for another day. Friday's supposed to be clear, clear, but uh, Thursday, it looks like the weather's going to be a lot lighter than it was today, because today was horrible. <laughs> All right. It depends on how you look at it. All right. Talk to you soon. It's very possible that I could have water under my tent. <laughs> Actually, this is the result of being right in that little water flow area there it's like I'm camped on this little mini river so all the low spots are attracting water I don't think this bathtub floor is actually waterproof I think it's just water resistant so I'm just keeping it as dry as possible. I put everything on plastic, but all the heavy things are tracked in water. I climbed up on a little high place here. Get a quick pano of the lake. This is so Lower Soldier Lake. And uh, you can see the miter up there. This is the tail end of the miter basin. And then this big rock right up there with the spires on top, that's the Major General. And you can't see it, but around the corner is Mount Langley to the right.
Here's another pano of the Lower Soldier Lake from a little different vantage point. Like one peak over. Heading up to New Army Pass. It's around quarter to nine. If I don't poop out, then uh, I should be over the top and on my way down before 11 o'clock. They say you're supposed to be off the peaks and ridges by 11.
I've decided to descend Army Pass, not New Army Pass, because it's nearer and you really couldn't see the trail on top of this saddle. It's too much snow and there's footprints everywhere. If I'd have busted out my map a little sooner, I could have seen that New Army was more to the west. But actually, that's, it looks like I gotta go quite a bit higher just to get on a New Army Pass. So Army Pass is right in front of me. Spectacular view, I'm told, and I've seen. So I'll share it with you when I get there. All right, new army, no, army pass. So west to new army, Mount Langley is up in that direction. So we'll be going down there. Wow, amazing. like trail right there. My foot hurts a little bit, so, but it's my right foot. So that way if I stumble, I'll fall into the cliff wall and not off the trail. <laughs> Ran into a fellow this morning that uh, just came up this. In fact, there looks like there's maybe been a couple people come up it this morning. So my spirit of adventure has been dashed, but at least I know it's doable right now. Okay. Well, I had to climb down that snowfall there. It's still fairly firm, but it's class three up to the snow, and then it's about, I don't know, 20 yards of hold your breath, plant your spikes, do the stomp step, and uh, don't look down. But there's lots of footsteps there pre-made, so he kind of got some good deep holes. Later on when it's warmed up, I wouldn't try it because the whole thing could slip off the, the uh, cliffside. This is an old slide here, and uh, I guess it's, it could be the only uh, kind of a scramble here, uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm hoping it's the only scramble up here. Anyway, we're going to find out. Another little scramble right here, an old rock fall, but it's really easy because there's no snow on it. and. Uh, and looking down the hill, it's like smooth sailing. Another little sketchy bit there where you have to do the stomp step, but not bad, not bad.
Army Pass. Cottonwood Lakes number four with Army Pass at the far end. Cottonwood Lakes number five. Arriving at Cottonwood Lakes number three, going to start looking for a place to camp. Well, it was a wet Wednesday, so we're <laughs> trying everything out. Sleeping bag really took a hit. I barely stayed warm last night. In fact, I was a couple times I started shivering. I had to move around a bit and uh, get get the shivers to stop. But uh, this is camp. We got a nice little place right where the Norwegian explorer camped in his video for the uh, Mount Whitney trip. It's uh, gonna be good. Weather's cleaned up. We're gonna get our camp dried up, get our stomach filled up, and uh, take some more pictures. So I decided against doing or trying to do Mount Langley. Um, there was so much snow up there on top that you can't really see the trails because everything's really kind of flat. Um, I probably could have figured it out, but the weather forecast isn't great. And right now, as you can see, the whole top of that hill is covered with uh, clouds. And so uh, I thought it'd be better since I've never been up there before. I don't want to get lost. Although it'd be pretty hard to get lost trying to find the highest peak, but just uh, say it for a day when the weather's a lot better. The forecast today was for uh, still for possibility of, of bad weather, so uh, I'm gonna be smart and come back and do it some other day. You know, camp is all set up, ready for another night.
I was just taking a little nap here at Codwin Lakes number three and I got woke up by the collapse of thunder up on Mount Langley. <clears throat> There's a great big thunderhead up there right now working the peak over. This morning when I came up through there, I had entertained the idea of maybe going up there, but the trails were so covered with snow that I had to use my GPS device to find <laughs> Army Pass. And uh, then um, I thought better of trying to go up Langley because the weather hasn't cleared yet. And I guess it was a good choice for today. So Thursday morning, I packed up all of my wet gear uh, here at Soldier Lakes, uh, hiked back out and hit this uh, trail that goes over to New Army Pass, uh, hiked up the backside there. And once I got near the top, uh, kind of lost the trail, uh, just too much snow. So I used my um, cell phone actually to navigate uh, via GPS to uh, Army Pass, which is quite a bit lower than New Army Pass. Uh, went down Army Pass, which was in really bad condition and, and a lot of snow on it, a little bit sketchy, uh, down and uh, made my way to Lake Three, uh, where I camped for the night. Pack it up, time to go. Well, it's Friday morning, we're hiking out. If you wanted to do Langley today, it would be the day. Not a cloud in the sky, not supposed to be. The only sketchy part would be Army Pass. Beans is kind of falling apart from mud and snow, but other than that, it would be a very doable climb. There's a rule, it's unwritten, but if you come to Horseshoe Meadow and you go up to Cottonwood Lakes, you cross this bridge, you have to put it in your video or your video will get banned. It's mandatory. We're back here in Horseshoe Meadow, almost back to the car. We're going down a trail that leads from the upper Cottonwood Lakes parking area for hikers down to the Cottonwood Pass parking area where I parked. And I planned that that way because I'm making a loop. I'm off trail right now. I'm heading uh, just due south towards Eyeball uh, 
be milky pass and high pass and uh, the parking lots should be in front of me so um, I'll be there post haste Well, I see my truck still there. All right, we're back at the car. Uh, been a successful trip. Planned to go forwards and backwards just in case the weather was inclement. Turns out that was a good plan, uh, but I still got caught out. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. It's so waking up here uh, at Lake 3 on Friday morning. Uh, I made my way past the Cottonwood Lakes on the easterly most trail, uh, down the main trail, and all the way down to the parking lot here at the Cottonwood Pass parking area where my truck was. Total trip uh, about 22 miles. Thank you.